We are back and we are having another guest on the set. Uh, my old pal, I won't stress old, <laughs> Caroline Parnell um, from my days at uh, another place. We'll just leave yeah. it at that, back yeah. in the older days. But you're yeah. for the Cap Center today. It's been a rough ride here the last 20 months, especially for your type of industry, hasn't it? Oh, everything about us is about people gathering. Everything about COVID is people not. Yeah. So it's been a really it's unprecedented a great way to put ride it, for way. us. Yeah. It has been, yeah. Were there any times that you thought, or maybe as a, as a collective, that, boy, we may not come back? Uh, I think that it did flit in and out of our minds here and there just because it kept dragging on, and our thoughts go to how long can we hang on without driving revenue, right? So it did, here and there, you wonder. But the creativity that you, your organization did, like the, the streaming, the, the on-the-roof concerts, I mean, you really did find different ways to uh, get around and circumvent the various restrictions, and they were pretty restrictive. Yeah, thank you. We did. And then we did a streamathon, remember that? An online uh, telethon. That was cool, too. Like, but ultimately, you want to have people sitting in seats watching acts on stage. Yeah, that's where the joy is. That's where anybody who's ever been to a concert or, or a big production, they know that. That's being with other people who are enjoying it the same way you are. That is joy. Capacity limits have been uh, raised, thankfully. Where do you sit right now, pardon the pun? Well, when we booked this particular fall season of shows for October to December, we were at 50% capacity uh, with physical distancing, which in our world means in a 932 seat theater, you can fit about 350 people distanced apart. And so the shows were planned that way, that's the way they are. Um, the fact that they lifted capacity last week doesn't change the fact that everything about the shows we booked is still geared to only that smaller capacity. So, can't sell more tickets? Well, we can. See, this is, this is where it's at. Um, we're not going to change overall the capacity of any of the shows between now and December. But what we are going to do is start to open up some of them in the balcony only. Um, so orchestra will always, between now and December, will remain physically distanced. So people are in their protective bubbles. Um, the balcony will remain that way up until we start selling full for the balcony. So anybody who's already bought in the balcony for November shows and onward will stay in their six feet distance from other people. Thoughts well, about having performers come in. How tricky has that been? And I'm sure they want to get back to work. It's been, it's been a process for Peter, our head tech. Uh, we do have COVID protocols for all the performers. So there was a lot of uh, cleaning of microphones in between. We had uh, plexiglass in the stage in front of the performers for quite a while. Um, there are protocols in place as to how many can come in, who can touch what. So that remains in place uh, just to protect everybody. How difficult has it been to try to retrofit this place or refit this place to uh, make it more COVID uh, compliant, I guess is the word? And not unlike some others, I'm sure. It was a careful dance around grants <laughs> that mm. became available mm -hmm. to see what we could tap into to help fund things that were going to be needed. So we had our first show done. That's Sean Cullen. It happened last uh, weekend. It was, it was awesome. Um, next up is Confessions of a Red-Headed Cough coffee shop girl which is a one-woman uh, comedy musical coming up this weekend she rave reviews about her so really should come out um, after that at the end of the month uh, October 27th is I his name is spelled A-H-I and he's soulful indie Canadian Juno nominated really good you should google him he's coming up on the 27th and, and the then 30th yeah Rocky Horror yes. now the difference this time is that um, we can't do full interactive yet so it is a movie screening People are invited to wear their costumes. There will be prizes, but there will be no interactive. Oh. Well, keep fighting. We're going to have this be a regular segment yeah. so we can get more, drive more people to the old Capitol Center. Yeah. I remember when it was the theater, but we're, take, we're dating ourselves here, or at least <laughs> I am. You remember when it was the theater, don't you? No. Oh, I guess it's just me. Well, uh, you know why? Because I grew up up north, not uh, here. That might be why. Clark, who grew up down south, will have weather right after this.